Sheep recycling is a business leader in end of life sheep in entire world and till date you people must have heard watched or read about along but I am damn sure that no one have shown complete history of along on YouTube this is the first occasion our valued viewers will get complete awareness about along sheep recycling yard who have invented along sheep recycling yard in which circumstances along sheep recycling yard have started which type of ups and down sheep recycling industries at along faced we have tried to cover all the information with an expert view in this video naturally video will consume length but if you will watch this video till the end i assure you you may get aware with unsung truth about along sheep recycling yards hello friends once again we welcome you on our channel shipping inbox we are really thankful to our viewers for watching our every video and motivating us by subscribing our channel pressing bell icon dropping valued comments pressing like button and forwarding our videos in their friends and business group today we are going to show complete details about along sheep recycling yard with attractive visuals and experts comments and history of along sheep recycling yards without wasting time let's move to the video in the late 1970s a ship drifted uncontrollably towards Gopnath point and ran aground near Bhavnagar of Western India. It was an important event and drew a lot of attention. The grounded ship could not be salvaged at reasonable cost and hence it was decided by ship owner to abandon it. Gopnath point is very close to Alan. Captain Anne Sundresen having observed that the grounding location was very suitable for ship breaking and decided to further score the surrounding area of sea coast in and around Gopnath point and as fascinated by possibilities of a regular port and ship breaking site around Port Alfred Victor. It was this necessity of breaking down of several thousand of ships in 38 years starting from 1980s that led captain and sundration in the look for a suitable ship breaking site in india in 1980 when beaching a ship mv lampa of mansoor tahir by at sachana near jamnagar the ship beached far from shore this prompted a debate into possible alternatives and find appropriate solution for better beaching for ship breaking purposes it was during dinner the same evening with captain and sundration suggested a perfect location that he had in mind having better facilities that is a stretch between bhavnagar and alfred victor port captain and sundration visited bhavnagar next day for regular inspection of alang lighthouse it was too late to get to the beach by the, the time he reached there due to the undergrowth on the beach front. A feasibility study of shore was initiated with encouraging outcome. Captain Sundaresan suggested three sites where he saw definitive advantages at area north of Alfred Victor, another further north and one at Alang. Captain Sundaresan with founder of Ashi Shipping and a Jaswantrai and Company, late Pramodrai Parik alias Kakubai and retired port officer Mr. Dandukya inspected Alang Lighthouse and the coastal area contemplating what could be a suitable ship recycling site with a large tidal variation, long coastline and having suitable gradient. The only concern was strong variant current. The reputation of Bhavnagar Anchorage is being a graveyard for ship, anchor and chains. 
Alang village is about 55 km from the west of Bhavnagar. Captain Sundreshan would have to reach Alang village and Alang lighthouse from where he would have to walk it down several kilometers to the shore as there were no roads at Alang beach then. He would make minute observation about seashore and stretches about 10 kilometers, making important notes about tidal condition and very various points putting to use vast experience and nautical knowledge. How far would the sea recede during low waters and how close the ship would come close to the shore during high waters was a matter of prudent judgment in absence of any available accurate data. Important notes were made with regards to the assessment of speed of current, wind speed and wind direction and any adverse effect of storm and monsoonal disturbance that could cause a hindrance to the ship breaking activities. On 13 February 1983, the master of vessel MV Kota Tenjong, the first ship scheduled for scrapping, who had been ordered to anchor off Gopnath Point, ended up accidentally anchoring his vessel off Alang Lighthouse due to his inexperience of the area. The vessel was beached next day and Alang proving all speculation and uncertainties wrong came to succeed. Since then Alang has grown phenomenally and it was the most eco-friendly and biggest ship recycling yard in the world today. Before 1983 ship breaking were carried out at Bombay and immediate chief minister of Gujarat late Madhavsi Solanki and finance minister Sanat Mehta approached ship breakers at Bombay and asked them about what type of facility they requires in Alang. Invited business leader to come down to Alang and start their ship recycling unit over there. According to Mr. Vishnu Kumar Gupta, the president of Ship Recycling Industries Association of India, the very second ship, namely DDR, beached in Alang at plot number 3. During 1982 and 83, only five ships arrived at Alang Ship Recycling Yard. During the starting period, there were 20 ship breaking plots allotted at Alang, then numbers doubled. Then it reached up to 64 plots. Till 1994, there were 64 plots in Alang. Gujarat Maritime Board then enhanced ship breaking facilities beside Alang Coast, that is Socia Village. Now, number of plots climbed to 173. Some plots suffering legal battle. Hence, now that numbers are around 153. According to Gupta, Shivlal Datawala, Pawan Kumar Jain, Pravin Nagarshet, Vishnu Kumar Gupta and Nemichan Jain have started their ship recycling business in Alang with limited resources in 1983. The very large crude carrier VLCC ship Red Sea Pioneer kissed the Alang ground of Plot number 8, Ghasiram Gokulchan, it was the first VLCC ship. VLCC was comprising LDT of 38,000. Then GMB declared to separate plots for VLCC in Socia ship recycling yards. Up to 1919s, all the ship breakers were allotted the ships by MSTC. Then, Open General License OGL were adopted in Alang and ships recyclers are buying their end-of-life ships from cash buyers. According to Shivlal Bhai Dathawala, a veteran ship recyclers at Alang, 
एंड एंड बायर ऑफ फर्स्ट वेसल बीच एट अलंग एम वी कोटा तेंजोंग सेड दैट देर वेर लैक ऑफ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड वी यूजली कीप आवर कार थ्री किलोमीटर्स फ्रॉ फ्रॉम अलंग एज देर वेर नो एग्जिस्टेंस ऑफ रोड एंड आर फील्ड इन विथ सी कोस्ट सेंड इट वॉज मेमोरेबल डेज Captain and Sundaresh Sun's name will be carved out in golden letters as the founder of Alang Sea Recycling Yard. His vision of a site for world-class sea recycling yard has now taken enormous proportion and provides livelihood to thousands of people at Alang for nearly four decades ago. Today used ships machinery and parts are transported across the globe to assist newer ship in difficult time to be afloat steel from alang finds uses across all the sectors in india his conclusion were based on a study of alang lighthouse and the gradient speed of current tidal conditions seasonal wind velocity and direction monsoonal pattern and potential road access to the coastal area gujarat government have accepted the study of captain and sundreshan and started developing alang's coastal area for ship recycling yard captain sundreshan was a well reputed marine barrister who practiced for various p and i clubs in london and had taken a fancy to study and practice marine law from a very young age he was a pioneer in facilitating documentation for sale and purchase of ships mint for scrap now called memorandum of agreement moa for demolition tonnage and an arbitrator on marine disputes the spent of few years as a port officer bhavnagar in 1968 and was also appointed as a nautical advisor to the gujarat government and was instrumental in formation of what is now known as gujarat maritime board gmb Bhavnagar was a sleepy town during those days with not much of activities per ship breaking small ships and barges used to berth at Bhavnagar new port those days which were used as lighter ages for loading and discharging cargoes at Bhavnagar anchorage where the bigger ships used to drop anchor the new port bhavnagar is located some 6 kilometers away from bhavnagar city and entry of small ships is through a lock gate due to tidal condition into the west basin since the year 1983 there were 8293 ship kiss the beach of alang ship recycling yard as on 27th june of 2021 during the starting years few ships were coming to alang but from 1990 it started in swing record break ships were arrived in alang for demolition in 2012 when 415 ships in a year touched the ground of alang alang was in famous for rough practices of ship cutting procedure during 1990s and several accidents up to year 2000 defamed alang and also pollution was key concern ngo started noising about accident and pollution in alang reason why gujarat maritime board gmb started for changing the face of alang and in 2003 gmb initiated labor welfare training institute at alang where unskilled laborers 
were giving primary training for ship cutting procedure as of now every workers who intends to work for ship cutting they required to get training from gmb and after certification only float holders occupies them even ship recycling giants like sri ram group lila group mansal group priya blue group arranged in house training as well experienced visiting faculties trains laborers even refreshing courses also laid down at labor welfare training institute and alan then results started number of accident declined gmb also initiated tsdf site and laid down certain regulations to send ships wastages slowly but surely along have changed their face the sh shipyard underwent a massive change not just culturally and in terms of working condition but also as far as infrastructure goes dormitories for workers were built by leading ship recyclers group heavy duty cranes brought in to make sure that steel blocks can be removed from the vessel without touching the ground the impermeable floor was extended to reduce the intertidal zone and much more marks line senior official john conberg bank said that all together this was a massive upgrade and improvement of alang shipyard to the benefit of workers and the environment and the yard's performance improved significantly we are seeing increased investment in upgrades in many other yards and when we sold our second batch of vessels we saw yards contempting on higher standards and not just on price we believe these results indicate that this approach all the ship recycling operation in entire along area would become responsible meanwhile representative of along ship recycling association started participating in an international maritime event seminar and presented the new face of along then international shipping giants were convinced with the progress at along hong kong convention of safe recyclers recycling was laid down in 2009 and in india it was legally accepted in 2019 by forming laws on ship recycling in india but ship recycler of along have already started to upgrade their yards as per the hkc from 2014 uh, and when hkc officially adopted in india there were half work already done and rest in progress as on date india along bangladesh chitgong and pakistan gadani have almost 80% share in international ship demolition market but new reality is that only one yard upgraded in bangladesh and pakistan yet to start reforms in ship recycling industry where india already adopted hkc and upgraded facilities according to the requirement reason why leading players of ships marks nyk lines stalls evergreen now fearlessly accepting along and sending their ships regularly along is now on way to get certification from european union eu government of india shipping minister dr mansukh mandavia already said that whatever requirements are lacking to get 
EU in India, we will fulfill them. Meanwhile, Finance Minister of India Nirmala Sitaraman during her 2021 budget speech declared that India would double its capacity of sheep recycling and work is going on in this direction. Eyebrows were raised on 16th May 2016 when Marx Wyoming arrived at Alang, India for recycling. Shortly after, it was followed by Marx Georgia. These were the first vessels that Marx sold to a ship recycler in the northwest corner of India. Marx's decision to sell ships to these yards were criticized. Marx, however, was determined to show that the change for the better was possible by incentivizing the sheep recyclers to comply with a higher standard. The AP Moller Marks Responsible Sheep Recycling Standard based on a strict interpretation of Hong Kong Convention and by having an on-site team to ensure implementation of the standard. During the summer of 2017, the dismantling of both Marx Georgia and Marx Wyoming was completed, proving the case. The completion report of, for Marx Georgia and Marx Wyoming shows that the commercially viable and responsible ship recycling in Alang is possible, says John Kornberg Bank, head of sustainability, strange strategy, and shared value at AP Moller Marks. Audit shows that all the yards Marks works with are operating in full compliance with its standards. The yards manage to fully eliminate contact with intratidal zone during primary cutting and Marx has now made this a mandatory requirement in its standard. At year-end 2017, Marx has other vessels being recycled at Sriram plot number V7 and YS investment plot number 59 and they have found satisfactory work completed during entire ships recycled. Reason why now big players are eyeing to send their end of life ships at Alang, considering HKC standard facilitates in majority of ship recycling plots. Ship recycler at Alang incredibly adopted all international standards with their own funding and laid down the necessary facilities at respective plots. Ship recyclers of Alang have invested in heavy duty cranes to lift steel blocks directly from the vessel onto an impermeable surfaces also from the bow and stern. Therefore, steel blocks are no longer coming into contact with intertidal zone and nor is tidal water entering hull of vessel. These are two impacts of beaching method which are most often criticized and ship recycler of Alang have changed their defame phase with adoption of modern method and HKC. Almost every yard is converted in cement concrete flooring, water disposal, tank and every facilities required in HKC. At present, there were labor training institute, labor housing colony, TSDF site, hospital facilities are there in Alang. Alang is 55 km far from Bhavnagar and Bhavnagar relates to air, rail, sea, road to the major cities. 
Now Gujarat government is planning to expand sheep recycling yards and GMB have started their preparation for bigger plot sheep recycling plots at Mathauda village besides Alang. Mr. Komal Kant Sharma, the CMD of Lila Group of Industries and one of the leading sheep recycler at Alang having four sheep breaking plots, opined that the future of Alang's sheep recycling business is very bright and most of the yards have converted to HKC norms. Forthcoming time, CMD of International Mission Recycling Business Express that will be Alang of is Alang. now in race of EU standards. Most of the yards adopted HKC and working according to the norms. Both union and state government supporting this sheep recycling business. Hence, it may touch new height in coming years. Sanjay Shah of MCC Group said that almost all the international standards comply at Alang and business leader of international entities are eyeing their scope at Alang. Future of Alang is very bright. Sandeep Shah, the owner of plot number 141 at Alang, said that most of the recycler have laid down HKC standard facilities in their respective plot with own funding and in comparison to Bangladesh and Pakistan, Indian sheep recycler have adopted modern practices for sheep recycling and forthcoming years will be of Alang. Mr. Rubal Bansal of Bansal Group of Companies opined that Alang is having all the international standard facilities, complied all the rules and regulations. Alang will attract more fleet owners to send their ships for recycling over here. The future of Alang is very bright. Hope you got awareness about unsung details of Alang Sheep Recycling Yard in this video. You are watching this video and if you have till now not subscribed our channel then what you are waiting for? Subscribe us and press bell icon for getting notification of every video. Also we request you to please drop your valued suggestion in comment box. This will help us in improving our story qualities. If you have liked this video, please share it with your friends and WhatsApp groups. Thank you for watching this video till the end. We'll meet you in next video with interesting story on shipping and maritime sector. Till then, bye bye.